thanks for checking out the channel today guys we are on our way to pick up another vehicle and we are heading through town onto the other side of it to grab it what we're picking up isn't anything that I've had before it is a 88 Mustang with a 5.0 and a 5 speed bad right I don't need another car right now but with where I'm going with what I'm doing with this channel I'm, tr I'm gonna increase some funds here and so I'm gonna grab this car and see what I can do with it and either flip it or part it out so there's the price on it is is really good and we're gonna see uh, uh, what we can do with it so we got the trailer hooked up and we're on our way. Well, we are back and here is the car. It's an 88 Mustang 5.0. It's an LX. It's a five speed. A little worse for the wear, but for the money, it was excellent. So the story behind the car is it was abandoned, and this guy cleans out houses, and he grabbed it, and then he posted it. It has a title, and all that. It's got some shitty paint. I'm not sure what to do about that. This is filthy. I believe this wheel is locked up. So to get it off of here, we're gonna have to unlock that wheel. That's gonna be the easiest way for me. That's what I'm gonna do. It has a sticker 2019, so it's only been sitting two, three years maybe. Let's get this wheel off. Wow, it doesn't seem like that. Okay, so when we picked up the car, we had it on a roller because he said this wheel was locked up. They didn't even try to start it. So I guess now that I know it rolls or it can roll, um, maybe I should try and start it. I don't know if I got keys. Let's check if there's keys. Let's get a light. All right, the door was blue at one time, then it was painted white, then it was painted black. That red interior. These are in the ignition. We got either 72,000 miles or 172,000 miles. That door is originally white. We got T-tops, we have no 
This, uh, this looks like the handle's busted. Oh, that clutch is stiff. That new car vibe. Where's the where's the latch at? There it is. All right. Well, oh, Fox Buddy Mustangs like that. It's a hood you shake. All right, there's no battery. They never tried to start it. See, so we got headers down there. It said it's really rusty. Oh yeah, look at that. I wonder if that's just an inner fender. It could just be the inner fender mount. Well, that's a shock tower mount. So that basically would make this thing not safe to drive. That right there. Both sides are like that. Could be fixed. Two inner fenders. But it may not be worth it. Okay. the oil dipstick tube why am I not seeing it I need to check if there's oil found a mouse nest See that? I still, for the life of me, cannot find the dipstick. Where is this thing? I'm looking on this side because this is where I think it should be. It should be on the driver's side. It come right up between the first two or three cylinders. Nothing. I feel like a complete dolt. I can't find the dipstick on that. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna pop a battery in it and turn the key. Let's see what happens with this battery. I think that'll fit. It might fit. Might be too big. Let's try it out. Well, that obviously isn't going to work because it's sitting too high. We just want to get it started. Let's put it on positive first. Alright, nothing in the way of the fan. I'm not showing enough juice. I got one of these guys right here, the Noco Boost HD GB70. This thing is pretty damn good. Let's try it out. Oops, turn it on. All right, let's 
go try and start it. Right. Still not able to get enough juice. Or, or there's something else wrong. All right, we got new new lights on. We got check oil and battery amp is on. There's no fuel pump priming. So we should check fuses. Got these gloves on here just to uh, protect the hood in case it decided to arc because that battery's a little bit too big. Here it is. This is an 88 Mustang LX 505 five speed. Doesn't start. Looks like we got we got some headers down there. Cell ignition wires. T-tops. Guess there's a separate key for the T-top. Let's see open this one. This interior. I've already been in here trying to diagnose. Uh, no start. I'm not getting any power to the starter. So it's ignition. Could be clutch position sensor. Could be the starter stuck solenoid I'm not even here in the fuel pump prime and so I'm not really sure where to start with that it's kind of crusty not really a lot of parts here to sell engine transmission Maybe some dash pieces, maybe the seats. I don't know who would want the seats. Maybe some interior plastics. The whole deal is here. You can see the center console, the inside parts right there. I picked it up, I set it the rear wheel on the driver's side was seized no, it wasn't it was actually they had it up on cradles and so i never checked it we got it up on the trailer turns out when i go to take it off it was in gear so i'm not sure what the deal was with that i, I lifted up the rear end spun the tires they spun great here's the other issue the whole inside, inside of that, uh, the inner fender is rusted out. So, I'm not sure how much that would be to replace or what you'd have to do. You'd probably have to cut it out because it looks like it's all one piece with the cowl. I don't know. I don't really know much about Mustangs. This is my first one, so. And I'm not seeing an oil dipstick. It should be on this side, and I'm not seeing it anywhere. It should be like right here. Nowhere to be found. Well, there you go. There's a fox in the hen house, so to speak. And uh, I'm just gonna see if I can get some money out of this thing. Either get it running 
and try to sell it for a thousand or two more than I paid, or I'll part it out and make a thousand or two parting it out. Maybe I'll probably be able to make more selling it whole. Uh, transmission maybe nine hundred bucks if someone's looking. The engine, I mean, if I can't get it running, I don't want to sell it to somebody and it's not running. I mean, if I can sell it while it's running or I can prove that it's running, it'll be worth more. So I'm not sure. The rear end, I'm, I don't know if anyone would want that. T-tops, if I can get them unlocked. But we'll see. We'll see what happens here. And I just want to thank you for checking out this video. Make sure to hit that like button, subscribe for more content. Uh, we got a whole bunch of new stuff coming up this year, so later.